I was just texting you. Hey, I was gonna come find you. Oh, I got such a solid idea. It's UK on the side. Want to feature ten new rap crews? All we've got to do is shoot a video for him. Well, I do have to say, great minds think alike. <laughs> I got a new song. I got some sweet new moves. Ain't a terrible combination. Oh, wait, save it. The deadline's tomorrow. We're gonna have to rehearse a break and shoot after school. In and on it. You got a new ringtone. People. Not cool. It, uh, yeah, especially when they're on the toilet. I want that footage deleted. Max, I'm just gonna put it in the internet where no one will ever see. Wait up! You can shoot our sick new video with it. Give me that. <laughs> Guess what day it is? I want to say Friday, but I've got a horrible feeling it's only Tuesday. It's our four month anniversary today. I know! For happy, amazing months. I only wish we didn't have to spend it here. Let's spend all our breaks together. Can't be obvious about... us. Hello, everyone! I'm looking for volunteers for a study. It is extremely boring and will mean giving up all your free time today. Anyone? Flippin' heck, love. Why don't you say it involves electric shocks and really boosts the numbers? I'll volunteer, Miss Baker. Thank you, Mr Harris. <laughs> Good luck finding anything interesting to study there. I can see why you don't want to take part, Mr Nunn. The only thing Lizzie learned from you is that your brain's missing. <laughs> Which is why you teach P.E. <laughs> Chocolate, peanut butter, marshmallow, waffle cone toast and... Jelly babies. That is my five a day right here. Can it be back? Come on, what are you doing? No, get me the. Get me the thing. Come on, get off, man. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. 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 Johnson. Football hit her, sir. Took the deflection off her smoothie, yeah? Oh, yes? Where is it, then? Mm -mm. I don't know. Well, perhaps a day of detentions will help jog your memory. See you at first break? I can't... I can't. <laughs> I've got rehearsal, sir. Come on, this ain't fair! Oh, my day. That is too funny. Me earlier in the staff room. I was like, pow, zing, burn. I can never normally think of things like that to say. You certainly were very witty. So, what's this scientific study about? Is it what makes Dexter Harris so irresistible? Get lost, Harris. She's got an elite athlete to study now. Ah, uh, um, uh. You see, the thing is, Mr. Nunn, I only need one person for my study. Start a run. You can study who's the sweatiest when we get back. Shall we say two miles? Let's make it five. Oh. Over hurdles. Great. Come on in. What are you doing? I don't know. He's just so annoying. Feel like an imbecile in this tiny outfit that's made about the size of one of Santa's little elves. Thanks, Nun, you picked it up from the lost and found. Now I have to run and I don't want to do leaps or bounds or hurdles. I'm not ready for that. I overreacted when Nun started taking the mick in front of Lizzie, but now I'm going to look more silly running around on a special day. Like, like a anniversary? Tension. 
attention Twiddling pencils, should I mention I should be busting dance moves Getting screams from the female fans Paparazzi snapping pictures at me Back to reality, I'm actually Sitting here letting the side down So tragically, Beck Clem is mad at me A good day went bad for me Good day went bad for me Nice of you to show up to rehearsals, slacker. Come on, I had detention. I'll be there lunchtime. Yeah, you better be. How can you show up for rehearsal at lunch if Ding Dong's got you in detention? I'll think of something. You shouldn't have been lucky with that drone. But all day detention is a bit harsh. I wonder what he's got going on at home. What's going on is Bell's got it in for me. You know, I read an article about a school where a panel of pupils decide punishments and stuff. That way, if a teacher doesn't like you, it doesn't matter. Say that again. Kids choosing the punishments. Awesome idea. This area is reserved for quiet reading. <clears throat> Shh. I was merely pointing out that... Shh. My role here requires me Shh. to... Shh. You are all extremely annoying. I'm so taking this a good one to get my day in court. See you later. And next time you... Shh. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh. I've seen oh. Year 7s having an asthma attack finish faster than that. It's the shorts. The shorts were too tight. Don't oh. worry. You did very well. You were never going to win. Eh? He's... I mean... And you It doesn't matter. Oi, Nan! Ready for the next challenge? The mental one. What? Battle of the brains? Bring it on. Well, let's do it. In, a uh, 15 minutes. Pathetic. A pupil's court? Surely they'll just let each other get away with murder. Deep down, every child knows right from wrong. And Nero seemed very sincere about the whole thing. Johnson. Of course. Of course. It was his idea. Oh. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> you might as well dispense with punishment entirely. Oh, Crispin. That is a bold idea. But let's see how Nero's idea works out first, shall we? Judging, here I come. Is that how judges dress? I had to borrow these from lost property because my other clothes got covered in drink. Nero Johnson is so going to regret making fun of me. Sitting in the room all break sounds well boring. I'll bring snacks. I'm in. We'll punish Nero, then drop out. Come on, it'll be fun. You need to get out there. I'll be out in five. You think? Someone's bound to have seen you flying that drone. You know what you need? Nothing but my mad charm. You need me as your lawyer. A sound legal mind making carefully thought out arguments. I'm an avid fan of Judge Judy. <laughs> so right, fam. It won't take long. Oh, Nero. Brilliant. Come in. So, you sit down there and then we'll get started. Now, Mr. Bell, I understand that someone was struck by a, a flying drone camera in the playground. That's correct. It was obviously Nero Johnson, which is why I gave him a detention. It weren't mine. It was... Guilty! Guilty? Right! Such decisiveness, such confidence. Great. Oi, defendant, you didn't want detention. Something about rehearsing dance moves? It's to do with this wicked thing I'm doing with Clem. We ban you from dancing for a month. No. 
No way. The court has absolute power, I'm afraid. I take it all back. This pupil court is a wonderful idea. Test subjects. Please tell me how many keys there are on a grand piano. What? That's not fair. It's a music teacher. 88. There better be some sports questions coming up. Who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921? I'll blow this for a game of soldiers. You win this one, Harris. Fine. That's one all. What's the decider? Nothing. Ah, study's finished, I'm afraid. But thank you both so much for your involvement. Back off, love. This is now a matter for men. Arm wrestling. Chess. Football. Sonic composition. OK, how about first person to finish everything off the school menu? That's idiotic. Oh, is chicken on the menu too? All right. Game on. May the best stomach win. See ya. That was awesome. Almost worth being dressed like a jungle sales reject then. Almost. Uh, where do you think you're going? Uh, yeah. We quit. We felt sorry punishing Nero. Seeing his little sad face. You mean you've had your revenge? And now you want to leave? Hmm? I don't think so. Sit back down and do your court-appointed duty. Next case. Filthy not not joke in geography, I'm afraid. And there's 20 more where he came from. Come on. This ain't fun. And there ain't no snacks. I'm silently judging you. He's late. Again. I could stand in for him. How hard is all that jerky bopping he does any road? I'll think about it. Well, like to be in a band. We're not a band, we're a crew. We could, like, call ourselves Bike Shed Massive. Or the Bus Q Crew. Or School Dinners, but with a K and a Z. I've done a list. You're so good at coming up with names, Leash. You should be in her band. Crew. And shut up. Oi. <sighs> All right? <sighs> Come on, then. We haven't got all day, you know? Oh, can't have that in a way when I bust the mood. Nero Johnson! You're banned from dancing. Oh, come on, sir. Like banning me from dancing, that's not fair. Out of my hands, I'm afraid. We'll have to see what the court has to say. Oi, Sarah, I'm doing this video with or without you. Notorious homework. Sats entertainment. I say sounds me. You've bitten off more than you can chew, Harris. Why do I keep getting pulled, pulled into this childish behaviour? Why? Just wanted a long time with Izzy, yeah. but I'm scoffing through like a barbaric caveman. All because? All because? All because? None keeps making me look silly. Really? In front of my girlfriend, really? Really? Am I worried what she thinks of me? I'm a genetic freak of nature, a mutant in shorts and trainers, with the heart of a wolf, the gallbladder of an extraterrestrial alien. If they have one, it would be strong, as strong as my spleen. Lower intestine, I'll readily win, cause I'm so much better than him. Why would Dexter do this foolish challenge? It's so stupid. He may as well have got himself an arrow aimed at Cupid. And this is so unflattering, quite embarrassing. Maybe he's bored of me. Perhaps someone else is better than me. Has she had enough? Yeah. Is she gonna leave? No. If I lose this bout, most definitely. She's over and out. I'll never see her again. She'll be gone with the wind. Would you see she's better than him? That him is me. That upsets me. They say what's meant to be will be. So better prove no one's better than me. No one's better. Uh. 
I won. None couldn't manage a treacle sponge. Well done. It's a red letter day for science. We were going to spend the day together. I know, but... I'd arranged a surprise for us this evening, but perhaps you'd like to take Mr Nunn instead. I'm sorry? Of course I'm not going to go with Nunn. What is it? Dinner. I could get a salad or something. I just want to be with you. It doesn't seem like it. I was just trying to impress you, so you wouldn't dump me for someone better. There's no one better than you. Well, I suspect you're mistaken, but thank you. I can't wait to see the look on your face when I give you your present. And I can't wait to see the look on yours when I give you yours. Do me a favour and go buy a present for Lizzie. You buy her presents? It's a special occasion. I go myself, but I'm stuck in classes. OK, well, what do you want? Chocolates or flowers. What's best? Get her a ball. She could have more fun with that. She's not really the sporty type. Get one of them squeaky chew toys, then. They love those. I'm not buying a present for a dog. We'll make your mind up. You'll confuse her. Isaac, I had a bunch of flowers for a human. The biggest bouquet in the shop and no chew toys. Um, for the crime of scribbling on desks, we sentence you to... to... Scribble on yourself. Yeah, like a hundred lines of, I will not scribble in that. Now get out. Oh. Coming up with punishments that fit the crimes is well hard. I don't think this much in lessons. <clears throat> Tell you what. Let me come up with the punishments and I'll think about letting you stand down as judges. Hmm? Deal. You got it. Next case. Ah, Johnson. Owen Garland, acting for Nero Johnson. You know lawyer Garfield, scram. Justice demands representation and the law demands this dance band be dropped. To quote Justice Arden in the 2011 Leeds Group versus Leeds City Council, AKA the case of the interrupted Morris dancers. Make him stop. The quality of mercy is not strained. My ears. Nil desperandum esperto credo. <laughs> and this retrospective legislation thwarts the exercise of one of the most fundamental. Okay. Okay. We'll drop the dance band. Really? Instead, your new punishment. Your new punishment? Yeah. Is to stay behind after school and wash Mr. Bell's car. Oh. <laughs> Two coats of wax, please. And uh, buff up the tyres. They're looking very muddy. Good news. The dancing band is lifted. Bad news, Mr. Bell's making me wash his car after school. Fine. I'll find another dancer. Yay! Not you. Oh, but we could shoot tomorrow morning. Still meet the deadline. I ain't changing no more plans for you. You can't make it tonight, then tough. You're out. Oh, come on. Clem! <laughs> Baker. I like your style, yeah? How'd you like to join my crew? This is a bribe, isn't it? OK, we're shooting a video today after school. I need you to let me off this car wash madness. You should have thought about that before you flew a drone at me. Order in the courts. The defendant's Nero Johnson is charged with making a fool out of Amber. Present in the courtroom today are the defendant, his attorney and the deputy prosecutor. I ask the jury to affirm that they will listen to this case and render a true verdict and fair sentence for the defendant. Mr. Johnson, please give your opening statement. Just harmless fun. An average day at Elm was me minding my own business until Eli was we droning. I was in the playground, I can't lie, man, it looks so fun, yeah. Of course I had to drive, but on the flip side, I'm as too uptight. Now it's me being questioned with the who or why. She should learn to take a joke. Besides, I want the only one laughing, so why am I paying the price? 
Mr. Johnson, your story's preposterous. Laughing at others' misfortunes is monstrous. Perhaps you need to think about your own actions. Imagine you had drinks pulled over your front. It's not very nice. It's clear in my eyes. When you weigh up the evidence, you're guilty for life. No, 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 no. He's Come guilty. on, don't, don't put me He's down, guilty. man. Come on. Come on. He's guilty. He is guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. You know what, you're, you're right. I was in the wrong here. I do deserve all of this. I really do. I'm sorry. Hey, I would have let you off, but we done a deal with Ding Dong. Oh. Spill. Isaac, wait, have you actually moved? Is that the same biscuit? Don't have a go. I've done your thing. Biggest thing in the shop. Talk about value for money. But I wanted a romantic gesture. If flowers die in a few days, this thing will last forever. Plus the spikes mean it won't get eaten by a horse. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Who buys a dog flowers anyway? There you go, sir. Car wash all finished. I will check, you know. Do you? It looks mint, well shiny. Puts your shoes to shame. Mm. Yes. I suppose they could do with their polish. Oh, and that jacket too, sir. That you for a dry clean. Why the sudden interest in my appearance? I don't care. But what would that Mrs. Goodman? I'd be dressing to impress. Your punishment is to take Mr. Bell's jacket to the dry cleaners. Polish Mr. Bell's shoes. Do Mr. Bell's full shipping. Food shopping. Yes. What's next? The court calls Crispin Bell. What are you doing here? How fares justice, Crispin? Oh, well, it's his turn to be punished, miss. Uh, this court has no authority over me. The court has absolute power, don't you say so? Ooh, how exciting! How much longer? Oh, um, I'm just recalibrating the gyro. Thing he's, uh, it's gonna be a while. Eli quit stalling. Nero ain't coming, and we're doing this without him. Yeah, the playground posse don't wait for no one. Sing along, syndicate. I put it to you, Mr. Bell, that you've been using the court to get all of your whack chores done. I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. Do you want the dry cleaner to sew this button on? Uh, they were merely a few random suggestions for the benefit of the court. He said if we handed them out, he'd let us off being judges. <laughs> Children, such active imaginations. Sir, we assembled your bookcase. <sighs> All right. I may have benefited slightly from some of the punishments that I drew up, but I was acting in the court's best interest. Nah. Give us a big list. Deal is, we let you off and you let us walk. And that includes them. We shut this whole thing down. Go back to the tensions. Oh. You're free to go? Yeah. Go! Yeah. Democracy in action. Isn't it wonderful? Hey! 
Come back with my jacket. I'm going to go. Hey, that's how you win a court case. <laughs> um, thank you, Dexter. It's a cactus. You know, I wasn't expecting a present. I just wanted to get you something. A cupcake? That's perfect. Happy anniversary, Lizzie Baker. What is going on here? I see what you're doing. Giving her a lift so that she'll say you've won. Absolutely not. What's she doing in your car, then? I was just breaking the news to Mr Harris that you came out on top in my study. Um, data analysis proved you were the best. Ha! Ah, in your face, Harris. Science proves you're a waste of space. I'll never hear the last of this. Let's just forget about him and get back to our anniversary. You're right. Absolutely. Of course. Right after I show him who's really the best. Dexter! Dexter! It wasn't even a real study! He's tired! I can beat him this time! Great. Camera works pretty good. See, I told you I've got me. The song was hype. So, uh, remember me when you're famous, you know? Well, I ain't uploading it. What? It's missing something. Doesn't feel right. Let's do it again. <sighs> you coming? What, do you reckon I'm the something missing? No. Nah. Just need someone to stop Alicia joining in. I knew you couldn't deal without me. <laughs> Loitering on school premises. That's a detention. A lot of people. How many detentions do you think I can get for dive bombing a teacher? Hey, hey, hey. As your lawyer, I have to hey. advise against that. Give me here, lads. Oh. Come back. You can't live with them and you can't get them out. When you're up there, rub it in your face, kick you when you're down. But when no one understands them, you know what they're on about. Always gonna be around, gotta find a common ground. Well, if you know so much about me, where do I go from here? If you see him every day, you can never get away. Only time that you're the boss.